up, peeps? Welcome back. I'm Chara Kirk, joined by Andrew Flash Gordon. What's up? And we're carrying on with Sweet Home, which we are enjoying thoroughly. We are on episode three now. So, you guys, if you want to watch the entire episode along with us without any cuts or interruptions, you could do that on our Patreon. We have the full reaction available there. Just make sure that you have your own Netflix subscription in order to watch along with us. And since you're here on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications, and upvote this video if you're having a good time. All right, let's jump into episode three. Oh, is this like an alternate reality where he joined them? Oh. What? Oh. Oh, what are you gonna say to your mom? Wait, what's the reality? Like, well, because in the beginning they said that his whole family died, but not him. So maybe he survived the crash. I don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> right. Oh. That skin thing is scary as hell. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna wake up and like choose life, my friend. Yeah, get your weapons ready. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Yeah. Because right now he's technically one of them, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Whoa! Ah! Ah! Oh, he's looking normal right now, or is he not? Uh, it's hard to tell. His eyes are closed. Wake up! Tell them where the children are. The child. No. Whoa, what a cool Whoa. Don't cry, save it for later. Nails on chalk. Brave children. Yeah. Oh, it just oh, doesn't God. end for the children. Whoa. Oh, good move. It doesn't end for the children. They're like, yay, we avoided one, but we got another. That is a cool shot, though. That is amazing. I was not expecting this. Whoa! Well, I guess that's the last of that one. I was not expecting that fight. Oh! Oh! Oh, this lady! Oh, maybe you just have to not be scared of them. I don't know. Okay. Oh. oh, duct tape. The gangster's band-aid. Guess that'll, that'll work. slow it down, maybe? Damn. Oh. He's been through some crap. <laughs> yeah. What happened to him? Well, I mean, we saw his face was kind yeah. of screwed up already, so. He must have been burned or something. Well, I mean, we've already seen 
other characters have been through some trauma. We saw the base girl with the ha- hanging and yeah. uh, obviously with our main character. So I'm curious if they're going to show us his backstory. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> oh, that's what the situation is. Oh, yeah. yeah, Mama power activated. And what? Oh, no. Is he gonna... Oh, is he infected? He's infected. Bye, Mr. President. I guess you guys are going to need a new president. <laughs> Leadership is gone. Anarchy <laughs> ensues. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay, sir. Calm down with the double stripes. Triple stripes. <laughs> Boy, this really does have the emotional feels to it. This show. Oh, that was a super cute baby. <gasps> oh. Oh, God. Uh, uh. oh no. Oh. Her stroller. Oh. But she saved the kids, though. Yeah. Oh my God. For some reason, I don't know why I thought she was going to do something, but this, yeah. this, makes, this makes sense, though. I guess now she's reunited with her baby. Yeah. Oh, poor thing. Oh, she just wanted to save the babies. All right, grown-ups. What do you do against this one, though? This thing is humongous. Yes, that's what I'm saying. God. Oh! Oh, what? What? She's kind of like him. Maybe we can have... Oh, in the nuts. The ladies have got this under control. No? Oh. Whoa. Just like a ragdoll. Guys, run. Oh, the epic music! <laughs> yeah, she's not right, but... Oh, look at those nails. Go, run. Yay! Good job. Well done. Dang. You are getting your cardio in today, sir. Seriously. Uh, oh, brave soul. Just duck. Slide. Smart. Yes. Smart. Bye. That was quite the fall. Oh no! What what happened? Wait, what happened? I think he's just he's just tired. I thought he just jumped to the side, right? He no. did, yeah. Oh, she's like him. Oh, so maybe if you have trauma, you can fight, or you can fight. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's like. Maybe it's like the will to fight it, you know? Because she really wanted to save the kids. Yeah. They're like, we literally saw you get thrown about like a rag doll, and you're okay. I'm their new mother. She's like, yeah, I just live like this. 
Well, she would know. Well, she would know. Well, she would know. Well, she would know. Yeah, hide your panties. Hey, Miss Chanel. Oh, what is it? Is your room usually a pigsty? Yes. Like, I was recording music. I didn't have a chance to clean up. I'm sorry. Apocalypse was happening. Who's this? Oh. Oh, hey. The guy the gangster tortured? Yeah. With the hammer? Oh, is the, the dog, dog barking at yeah, him? Yeah, the dog's like, no. What is in here? Oh. 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 Did he infect it, though, or do something to it? I don't know. I just don't trust anything right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, trust the dog. Look at him. What's up with him? Uh, but the dog was barking, is barking at him and is barking at the food, so that's a bad sign. Yeah. That's a good point. I understand your pain, but come on. It's like a ballerina song almost, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was it's, a trap. It's a trap. They are intelligent. Go back and shut the door. How? Just let her out, man. I was gonna say, she's kind of Just like... Just let her out. Oh, please be okay. But I'm not trustworthy that she is. Is she, is she turning? This is a tough decision. Oh God. That's a wrap, he's done. She's gonna eat him. I would imagine so. Oh boy. Where did that come from? From behind her? Did it go through her? Oh, no, no. It, it was from behind her. Such a heroic man. Oh, oh no. no. Oh my god. Oh poor thing. Oh mom. Has to see that her daughter. Oh, I feel you, mom. Do uh. close the shutters though. Yeah, she's she. That's a wrap. Both of them. Oh man. Oh. Wow. Oh my God. God damn it. Uh, oh. Well, that episode was really good. Obviously, um, it was definitely more of a slow burn that episode, but they focused. Uh, I mean, a lot on the characters. Yeah. Just. Uh, I mean, you got the uh, the woman who lost her baby, and then just you know having to deal with the the trauma of that, and then she's goes into protective mode with the two kids and then oh, I was really interesting I didn't see that coming with her like you know being able to get infected and then being able to have like the same power and control as the main character yeah. um, so I think the guy with the food I think he might be similar as well mm -hmm. um, because there was that thing with his eye remember like when he was being beat up by the gangster his eye was already, was already a little red, red and That's then it got bigger point. and then it got smaller and then just That's then as point. he was watching it he was, was smiling he, yeah it was kind of hard to read his expression but yeah. I did see that red in his eye again so Good I'm point. wondering if like he might be control 
be able to control it, but I don't know if he has like the same good intentions as the mother and um, our lead guy right. does. Yeah. So that'll be interesting to see how that plays out because like I really don't know what to make of him. All I know is I feel like I can't trust him. Well, yeah, because also too we saw a bomb. I believe the, yeah, dog, the was, dog was yeah was uh, barking at him and barking at the food. So like yeah. just from there like the alarm bells just set off in your head like this is already sus um, yeah so from that perspective also too it was quite a surprise when we saw the two monsters fighting each other i was not expecting yeah. that that was really awesome as well but uh yeah, yeah that was uh, quite an episode and also too again just we talked about in the last episode just like you know what's everyone's you know breaking point in a situation like this which again is totally understandable and then we see you know the ballerina uh character uh and then you know Obviously, in a situation like that, it's understandable that she feels her hopes and her dreams are uh, well, not, yeah. not a- attainable anymore. Yeah. And the world has gone to crap. And then she starts cutting her thing. But, uh, you know, from the psychological aspects, I understand what she's going through and uh, why she's doing that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really interesting how they are exploring all of this and, and just kind of showing us, I guess, almost like a, a case study, an examination of what yeah. people might do in a situation sure, like this. Sure. And it is really interesting to see, like, you know, how the kids helped our, our main character our protagonist kind of come to life and, yeah. and and find purpose and they gave purpose to the mom as well you know because now she can actually protect and take care of some alive children well, well, yeah I, I agree with you but what i appreciate so far through three episodes about this show is they've got the budget to do amazing visuals and amazing special effects but they don't focus on that they focus more so on the psychological aspects the yeah. trauma the uh, depression the stuff like that like and i appreciate that because they you know if they didn't care they would just focus more on hey we want to jump scare you we want to yeah. show you how cool these effects can be and again they do do stuff like that but it's more balanced and nuanced. So yeah. I appreciate that. I mean, I will say that in, in this episode especially, I thought that the the VFX were a little bit goofy, especially on the, the, big, um, one. the big one. <laughs> like, he looked kind of funny. Like, from the Hulk, you said? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. He just looked like sumo oh. Hulk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think I don't mind it really because i'm really enjoying the show sure. you know like i'll forgive some goofy vfx yeah. if i'm really really enjoying the story which in this case i am like i'm so invested in the characters yeah. and like i love how each episode kind of leaves you with more questions that you want answered so you're like well i need to watch the next episode now like it's so bingeable as, oh definitely as a result i do uh, last thing i want to say i do appreciate as well that we're you know each at least some some of the characters were jumping into some of their backstories with yeah. flashbacks and we're seeing like what caused their pain and their trauma that led them to where we are today that again that well equips them to withstand this type of apocalyptic situation zombie situation yeah no it's it's really interesting and and still we're not a hundred percent sure on what the rules are especially with these characters that can like like display infection mm -hmm. but seem to be able to have a hold of themselves so it's like okay what differentiates them from the ones that went over the edge like right. is it just that they had so much more darkness in their souls that they allowed it to take over or and you know if it's not something as esoteric as that and it is just like oh it's just genetics you know like yeah no I'm, def knows? Uh, I'm curious if they are going to be ambiguous with that or if they're going to just plan out tell us but uh you know either way um I'm, I'm just loving so far what we're seeing and great episode yeah super fun you guys hope you enjoyed it as well please subscribe click the bell icon all notifications and upvote this video and we will see you for the next one i'm achara kirk this is andrew flash gordon ciao